These workers are looking for any defects in the fabric of this hot air balloon, because once it's in the air, a tear could be catastrophic. That's why they put the fabric through this stress test. But it's not just the balloon that needs thorough quality control. A leak in the burner or a fault in the basket assembly can be just as dangerous. Like a puzzle, these pieces must be aligned perfectly. Once complete, this hot air balloon will sell for as much as 150,000 euros. So how does over a thousand kilograms of fabric and wood float through the sky? And why are these balloons so expensive? Ever since the first manned hot air balloon flight in 1783, people have been captivated by the experience it offers. Today's manufacturers, like Ultra Magic Balloons in Catalonia, Spain, preserve this simplicity while modernizing it. It all starts with the envelope. Hot air balloons are aircraft, so manufacturers must carefully follow regulations set by governmental aviation agencies down to the fabric the balloon is made of. Ultra Magic uses specialized balloon grade polyester and nylon fabrics coated in silicon for their heat resistant, antifungal and durable properties. Workers like Monica Morato inspect the fabric and subject it to stress tests, ensuring that it's tear resistant and durable. En principio se revisa toda la tela y cuando se empieza se mira con esta banda de la luz si hay algún desperfecto en el tejido y si todo está bien se empieza a cortar y a lo largo si sale alguna tara, algo que vemos en el tejido, se corta y se separa y se continúa con el proceso, pero siempre mirando que esté todo en perfectas condiciones. Workers cut elongated strips of fabric called gauze which will be sewn into the final round balloon envelope. Standard gauze are cut by hand, whereas the most complex shapes and design elements are done with a laser cutting machine. Just cutting the envelope pieces can take a week. El patrón partido es más difícil porque es, uh, imaginaros que estáis haciendo un puzzle, pero aquí se cose eh, con un embudo. Por eso es más difícil. Consuelo has been working as a seamstress at Ultra Magic for 37 years. She's one of 20. She sews the gauze together over pieces of load tape. These are durable, seatbelt-like strips that help carry the weight of the hot air balloon and prevent strain on the fabric. Consuelo's experience sewing the balloons makes her invaluable. Adriana Yadó, an engineer at Ultra Magic and one of the daughters of the founder, says sewing is the skill that has the biggest effect on quality. The most difficult part in the process is sewing the envelope and it's basically because the fabric is uh, very difficult to work with and it takes two years for a seamstress to build a complete hot air balloon by herself. The envelope alone accounts for 50% of the cost and the larger the balloon, the more fabric required, so the more expensive it is. Envelopes for the smallest three-person balloons can take two weeks to make with the final balloon cost at 30,000 euros. But Ultramagic's largest balloon envelopes require up to two months of work. They can hold 29 people and cost 150,000 euros. Custom design requests will bump the price up higher. While Consuelo constructs the envelope, engineers work on another essential component, the burner system. Smaller balloons require two burners, while larger ones need four. Ultramagic subcontracts its burner designs, but assembles the parts in-house. Most hot air balloons use liquid propane, which travels through superheated coils that vaporize it. 
a pilot light ignites the gas and the flame heats the air inside the balloon. This hot air is lighter than the colder air outside the balloon, lifting it. Engineers carefully wrap the coils in a spiral and connect it to the fuel tank. Luego cada pieza va como un puzzle, ¿no? Vas montando, pero ya con los planos que tenemos vamos montando. Esto sería la parte del serpentín, que es una vez montado todo el mecanismo es lo último que ponemos y después procedemos a poner las mangueras, que serían este tipo para hacer la prueba del gas. They test for gas leaks by spraying soapy water, lighting the burner, and inspecting for any bubbles. They also check for any debris that may hinder the burner's functionality. Just as with the envelope, any defects here could risk the burner failing and the balloon falling from the sky. Meanwhile, Samuel Agustin and his team hand weave the baskets that passengers will ride in. Samuel has been weaving for Ultra Magic for 16 years. He says building a basket requires careful teamwork. Normalmente trabajamos en parejas, una persona dentro y otra persona la parte del exterior. Y si es una cesta como esta, que es una C14, uh, pues, pues ya, desde el principio hasta el final, son un mes, tres semanas, aproximadamente. Pero si hacemos entre cuatro personas, a lo mejor un mes terminamos. Ultramagic constructs its baskets out of rattan. It's not an aesthetic choice, but a practical one. Rattan is not only flexible and durable, it absorbs any shock from a bumpy landing, protecting the passengers inside. Los cables sí que son mucho más importantes. Cualquier, pues a cualquier fallo no se puede, no se puede volar. These cables are woven into the wicker basket and are eventually connected to the envelope, helping to support the weight of the basket. According to Ultramagic, the rattan materials, as well as the time it takes to construct the baskets properly, account for 30% of a balloon's cost. When the sewing, engineering and weaving departments have finally completed their work, the puzzle pieces of the hot air balloon are ready to be put together. The basket is connected to a metal frame that also supports the burner system. Steel cables are connected to the envelope through carabiners joining all the elements of the hot air balloon. Then it's time to inspect the balloon. A team inflates the 7.3 meter envelope to check for leaks. They inspect every inch of rope, cable and fabric for any defects that may have been missed in production. If everything's up to par, the basket is flipped upright, the burners are lit and the balloon is ready to fly. Ultramagic is seeing demand rise especially in countries with increasing tourism. The company sells its hot air balloons to individual buyers, as well as companies looking to offer commercial balloon rides. It's a team of almost 70, making about 100 hot air balloons a year. But the company says meeting the growing demand is challenging. It takes time to train its employees in such niche skill sets so expanding too quickly can come at the expense of quality. Even as the global hot air balloon market is expected to, well, balloon to $11.5 billion by 2027,